Hi everyone, this is Chi from Commerce Gear. This video is about making a DIY magnetic sheath for multi tools. A little while ago, I put out a video about making a minimalist sheath with ranger band or bicycle inner tubing. It was also posted on multitool.org. And thanks to a suggestion from a fellow MTO member, that's how I got the inspiration for this chip. Exact dimensions and quality of magnets might be difficult to find, but the few factors that will determine the sheath will work or not are the following. At the beginning, I thought putting on the biggest magnet would just do the job. Turns out all I need is just the right amount of pull from the magnets. Anything excessive might bend the blade inside the tool or make using the sheath difficult. Besides the magnetic pull, the design of the sheath and friction both plays a big role in keeping the tool safe. For the all-open tool and magnet design, given enough magnetic pull to the tool, the material pinched between the tool and the magnet would generate enough friction to prevent the tool from sliding around. And as for wrap-around magnet-on-magnet design, the key issue here is to prevent the tool slide out from either side. Magnetic pull and friction will prevent that from happening. All this will make a lot more sense once you see the designs in the later part of the video. If the magnets are too weak or sheath material too flimsy, obviously this whole thing is not going to work. Alrighty, enough of my babbling. Let's jump right into the designs. If you have tried the Ranger Band Carry method in my previous video, this is probably easiest to do and looks pretty cool. This sheath could hold up many different types of multi-tools all the way up to a full-sized heavy tool such as Letterman Surge, which is approximately 335 gram. Find two large size rare earth magnets and install them under the two loops of the band that used to retain the tool. The magnet size should be taller than the belt or the ranger band, so that the ranger band is stretching over it. This design is too simple to be true, but don't worry, a strong magnetic pull will generate a lot of friction when the rubber is pinched hard between the tool and the magnet and will prevent the tool to slide out. The only drawback is, it might be difficult to install it each day, and the magnets are a little thick and add bulk to the whole thing. Also, the really strong magnets might affect your cell phone or credit card if you are not careful. This is probably my favorite of all solutions. Very clean looking and user friendly. Find two or a few really thin rectangle shaped magnets. Install them into a thin strip of heat shrink wrap. Then, just wrap the magnetic heatshrink wrap around the belt and the tool. The key is to find just the right the minimum amount of magnets to slap together for it to work. But do make sure the height of your magnets are no longer than the width of your tool, and the length of your sheath is just right. So the heatshrink wrap could hug the tool tight from the top and the bottom side. Also, beware the direction of the magnets when installing, and don't ask me why I know. The drawback of this shaft is this is very tool specific and you will need to make a loop after the tool is out so the shaft won't be lost. Since the material used for the shaft stays to the minimal, I'm not too sure whether it will work well for the longest or heaviest full-size multi-tool. This design is okay. I didn't like it all that much, but it served well as a proof of concept. Install two magnets horizontally into a wide strip of heat shrink wrap, so when the two magnets meet in the middle, they will attract each other by its size. Again, do make sure the directions of the magnets are correct. The major drawback is, sometimes putting this shelf on is a little trickier. Also, the smaller and thicker magnets exert enough force that it might pull open the blades when pulling the multi-tool out of the shelf. If you start using your shelf 24-7, you'll be best to do some jumping tests and slide out tests to make sure the chef is up to his job. I hope you like this DIY video and be sure to check out the other videos. If you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.